Hi guys, this is Nicola from m 2 Biom. We're back with Jessica Peterson, a registered dietitian from DNA Analysis, to review my resilience panel. So for those of you who might have forgotten, the resilience panel takes a look at how we adapt to stress and stressful situations. So today we're going to take a closer look at norepinephrine. Over to you, Jess. Great. So norepinephrine is one of our neurotransmitters. And what this particular section shows for Nicola is there's room for improvement because her body is struggling to convert her norepinephrine or dopamine to norepinephrine. And so what that indicates is she might be more likely to have some more anxiety, some more impulsiveness, um, as well as even some uh, lower attention span. So one of the things that it indicates that we can do to try and improve how that dopamine is converted to norepinephrine is vagal nerve stimulation. I know your vagal nerve is just a really big nerve that runs down for uh, quite a lot of your body. And what we can do to stimulate that is exposure to cold. So I don't know if you've heard lately, there's a bit of a craze about jumping into cold pools or swimming in Cape Town or these types of things. It's one of the best ways to stimulate this nerve and therefore have some of these positive outcomes we're looking for. So what we would like Nicola to do is either have a really nice cold shower, jump in a pool in the middle of winter, or just, you know, pop down to Cape Town for a swim in the ocean. Can't complain with that. I'll be there. Not too bad. Not too shabby.